here in Gaul, we are talking about student strengths and personalized learning, and so it just pulls on what their strengths are and what they're looking for for the future so they can pick what they would like to work on. We're really looking at coming up with ways to allow students to take what they're learning in the classroom and apply it in a real world way. Because you're not just like opening a textbook and reading. Yeah, and it's more of like actually doing activities. It's discovery learning. It's learning by finding out, by inquiring, by making graphs, by making connections, by linking your knowledge, and that's how we learn in real life, is by doing. My partner and I were working on this one over here. We're barely starting to grow our plants. Here's our data, and we're measuring the height and the amount of leaves. One of the biggest pieces of personalized learning is that kids have an opportunity to make choices about what they want to learn about. It's always been my passion to take care of plants. We're programming a Lego robot that we built to move forward and make different sounds. You know, if our goal is to close the achievement gap, I think it's so important that we keep in mind that we first need to close the opportunity gap so that every child has the equity of access to the programs and services that we provide. And I think part of what that is, is not only the strengths implementation, but also in expanded learning opportunities as well. After school, clubs have varied. We've probably had over 30 different types of clubs, anything from Lego robotics to ballet. I've seen personalized learning throughout the classrooms. When I walk in, I see children using devices that allow them to have access to content at their own level and how to advance their levels within the various content areas. Technology is no longer used as a digitized worksheet. We really are using technology to accelerate learning. So I have flexible seating because when you think about how you learn at home, like when you go home and do homework, you don't sit at a desk, you're on the couch, you're on your bed, you're at a kitchen table, you're standing up, you're comfortable. And so that's what the classroom's providing. These are chairs that you can sit in when um, she says it's time for flexible seating. It feels really good. So you just kind of put it behind your back and then it helps you, because um, it helps make your back straight and stuff. They also have the option of if that place is not working for you, you can get up and move. If you want to be at the standing desk at the beginning of the day but want to end up at the couch, that is okay. I don't have assigned seats, so they collaborate with someone new every single day. Personalized learning is just a wonderful thing in the classroom. I see kids excited, they get to make choices, and the motivation and the excitement is just so incredible. All right, so what's your favorite part of school? Math. Uh, reading. And writing. Oh, this next generation is not my generation. They are using the iPad, they're using Chromebooks, they're using everything. They learn differently. So the teachers today are teaching them the problems and the students are solving them using technology, changing the world.